this is Eunice and I'm about to do a um, tutorial I want to um, show you again my techniques and so far for the ventilation I finished this wig but I left a little spot here <laughs> to ventilate just to show you my techniques again uh, for the ventilation also I have my um, hairspray here a little oil sheen and uh my comb here and um my disposable razor here and my shears um when i finish this little section right here i'm going to go ahead and spray the hair and comb it out and go ahead and do the trimming so that it can be washed sometimes next week so I can go ahead and get it curled and put it on the um in my store <laughs> so I'm trying to get you as close to the um hair that I'm getting ready to ventilate as possible I don't know how this is this is my favorite tool uh it's not the German needle it is the lash hook and this is um the one or two strands so here go <laughs> oh lordy hold on <laughs> can't do this without this got to have the hair that's crazy <laughs> key ingredients and you leave it <laughs> oh well it happens you know okay so uh, this is the latch hook and i'm gonna Try to get you close as you can to see what I'm doing. And uh, I'm standing up. Normally, I am. Um, normally, I am sitting when you ventilate and so forth. And everybody knows that. But I think I can get this little section in here done. And, uh, you know, on the camera. So, let me get behind here so you can actually see uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so I got the latch hook here, and I'm going to start in from the back here, right here. Um, putting the hook in, pulling it up, and then I'm going to put my hair in, and loop it around, and voila. And I'm going to do this, because I definitely want to get this hair finished and sometimes um when you're doing this and so far and here the hook in you know you get to the final ending you just want to help get it done <laughs> which is what i do help get it done <laughs> so here we go hook loop and i always do the uh double knot uh because you know when you do the double knot it just secures the hair more and also it help prevents the hair from shedding when you go to comb it and all that so here we go again in here i'm hope really hoping that you guys can see this uh i do have a class while i'm actually teaching this so you know if you can't see it and can't see it well you know, give me a call, and um, the on the class is an online class, and um, I learn through the online class. Here we go again. Um, I know I'm blocking your view. Sorry. Here we go. Uh, here, loop, and there. Okay, almost got this done. Here we go. I only wanted to leave just this one little section so I could do a couple ventilation stitches and uh, I call them stitches <laughs> it's not like you're sewing but you know <laughs> oh, but um, I did want to you know like I said um, get, uh, show the um, ventilation techniques uh, again, I use the um, latch hook. Now, also, too, the German needle is pretty much the same. You loop it into the uh, lace, and this is Swiss lace, because someone asked me what kind of lace was I working with. So, this is Swiss lace. Loop it around one, 
loop it around two, and then pull it through. That's pretty much all you have to do. And uh, go in, use your little point to go in, go up under. I'm using very little pieces of hair here uh, and everything because this is actually just a little session. Do your hair like this. Okay, I got the needle already in. Already in. So then I'm going to go in and loop, catch two or three strands, two strands actually. Loop one, loop two, and pull through. So here we go. And um, it's the same way with the German needle. You're going to do the same thing. I do have a German needle, but this is the one I use mainly. Um, because, um, I actually learned with a latch hook, um, uh, the one that you actually do braids with, but, um, and I feel like, you know, when I found this on the internet, <laughs> that was it. I was hooked on this needle because it has worked for me. I've actually done three wigs, um, with this, well, not with this particular needle, but I bought like three packages. So if something happened to one of them, I'll have another one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. And I'm going to do this, this, and this. I'm almost done. Uh, just a couple. Okay. And hoop, loop, loop, done. And hook. Pull, loop, 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 and done. Okay, and loop, pull, pull through, pull the hair through, loop the needle one, loop the needle two, and done. And let me see here. I can get one more. And I also like to pull my hair uh, ventilated kind of tight. Um, and usually when I get through with the hair, I go back in to double check uh, to make sure I don't have any loose space. And I tell you, when you get into ventilation and so far, that will happen. And you just got to go back in and tighten it up. So that is done. So I'm going to now pull the hair back. So I can go ahead and um, take these two braids out. And uh, I'm going to spread. So, cause I, I'm, and I'm going to do what is called the dry cut. It's still going to be shampooed even though I'm spraying it now just to give it a little life. And uh, so I can go ahead and comb it through and cut it. Okay. So you're going to go. And this hair... It's the same type of hair that I'm wearing. And I've had this hair in for like six months now. I've been wearing this way for like six months. Um, if anybody knows me or mostly everybody that do know me know I don't like changes <laughs> too much. So if I can wear a wig for a long time, I will. <laughs> yep, I will. Yep. And uh, I love the curls. Uh, usually these are tight curls in this type of hair and um, you'll see when I uh, as I'm combing them out you'll see like the wave print in this hair and everything but uh, I'll show you in a minute and then I'll comb it back out okay okay now this hair all you do is do this and then you see your curls coming right back in and um and then i'm just going to come it back out but i want to show you that this hair is natural curly voila you see the curls here let me pull this down some you see uh the hair actually has the curls and everything but I'm going to comb it back out and um, um, so I can go ahead and trim it it's not getting a cut but it's going to get a trim <laughs> you know what I mean so okay 
going to come it back out so I can give it a trim. And then um, I will uh, condition it. And uh, I'm going to tighten the curls back up um, because, um, you know, I do want them a little bit because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, uh, once I do this wig, I'm going to, you know, put it in a box after I get my pictures and stuff taken of it. Okay, so I have my comb here so I can, okay, one fall. <laughs> so just going to trim it a little. Not a whole lot. And the reason I'm using this is because I don't want the blunt curls. I mean the blunt. I don't want the blunt cut. So I'm using um Yeah. I'm using the uh, Okay, I'm getting there, and I'm just pretty much shaving it down some, um, and everything, and just shaving the ends off, because I don't want the ends to look stringy, for one thing, I want this hair to look like it's, um, it is a full wig, um, each of the, um, bundles this wig has in is, um, three bundles, and each bundle is a hundred grams. And so you got like 300 grams of hair into this wig here. Yeah, and like I said, I'm just actually giving it a trim. I'm not really giving a cut, which is the reason why I don't have um, my um, cutting shears. But I just want to give it a trim, and I don't want it to look like a blunt cut. A blunt trim whatever <laughs> yeah so I don't want it to look like that okay I'm gonna turn it around finish it up give it a trim on this side here and then I'm gonna go in and just take out some of the hair in the back with my thinning shears I'm just pulling this hair out and putting it over there until I get ready to have it go. Okay, I gotta choose the right side. Okay, I'm getting it here. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think I got that done. There we go. Let's see. Get this little end off right here. There we go. Okay. So, I got it trimmed down. Whoops. <laughs> there it goes. I've got it trimmed down the way that I want. And I'm just going to go in the back and just take off a little bit of the hair. And, uh, Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, hope you can see this part too. And I'm just going to go in here. And I'm not taking it off on the side or the top. Just taking it off in the back some. And... Doing. Oh, okay. This is alrighty. I'm perfect. Okay. And 
just a little bit more. Okay, bend this so you can see. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm pulling that hair up, so that's the putting back the natural curls in. And uh, let's see, get this here. Okay. Okay. And we're going to punch this back up. And I'm gonna go on to the side here and comb it and go see. You have an idea of how this is going to look. Okay. Uh, let her sit up some. She's like she's got some problems or something. <laughs> okay. Mm. Maybe I should have brought my, there we go. Yeah, if you see this little stringy that's going to tie it up and so forth, uh, then you want to uh, get that and let's see. I'm going to get this side here. Let's see. Okay. Ah, give it another little whoop, whoop, whoop on the end so far. Yeah. I always like to use my and uh, I did create my baby hair but I'm just not doing it in this or showing it in this video here but I did because like I said this hair is going to be um, and here we go so this is the wig and it does need to be washed and conditioned and I'm gonna tighten up the curls but as you can see it does have some nice wavy curls in it as it is and even though I trimmed it and everything you can see the curls in the back it's just like this hair here um, but what's happened I've done a lot of combing on this hair I've been working on it for a while and everything um, I started on it last year and I take it off and put it back on take it off and put it back on and everything until now I finally decided to finish it. This is the first wig for the 2018, as I said before in my other video. And um, we do have the labels now. And uh, this will be my first wig that I actually get to put my label on and everything. So I'm excited about that too. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And um, I don't know her name yet, but... She'll be seeing you <laughs> in a, another week or two on my website and so forth. Voila. Here she goes. <laughs> Here she goes. She is beautiful. So, those are tips for ventilation. Tips for trimming uh, your wigs and so forth to style it and everything. Um, I didn't need to put any colors to this wig. Uh, it's beautiful just the way it is and I, it does have some highlights and so forth in it anyway and um, I'm just you know glad that I'm finished
You know what I mean? I'm just glad that I'm finished. <laughs> so I do hope that you did see the um, few ventilation strands that I did do. Um, but again, I am teaching a class. So if you didn't see it, then hopefully you'll take the class and learn from it. All right. Thank you. Bye.